Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to crop, scale, and rotate images in WordPress. So WordPress has a built-in basic image editor which you can use to edit the images in your media library. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. First, on your dashboard, go to your media library. Then go ahead and look for an image that you want to work on. Okay, now once you have the image, go ahead and click on the Edit Image button on the bottom part of the image. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now you'll be taken to the screen. So as you can see, there are several buttons just above the image. So we have one for crop. We have another for rotating the image. We have another for flipping the image. And on the right side, you have an option to scale the image. So let's go ahead and work on the image using the buttons. First, let's go with crop. In order to crop an image, first, select the part of the image that you want to crop. Just click and drag across the image. Let's say we want to crop this. Remove this part right here and just leave the ones here. So once you've selected the part in the image, you can now click on the crop button. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Now let's go with rotate, counterclockwise, clockwise. Now let's go with flip. Let's flip this image vertically. Flip it horizontally. This is for the undo. And should you wish to redo the action, just click on redo. Okay, so that's how you edit an image using the buttons here. Once you're done, click on the save button just below the image. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel the changes that we made just now. Yes, I'm going to show you now how to scale the image. So right now the dimensions or the size of the image is 3072 by 2048 pixels. Let's say you want that to be a bit smaller. You can actually change that, scale that down. Just type in the size that you want and then click on scale. There you have it. Of course, after making the changes, please always click on the save button. If you don't want to save the changes, of course, click on Cancel. So this is all for this video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.